Hey family, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me in my love room. Today, the topic of discussion is, are you being emotionally strong alone? Stay tuned for that. Okay family, so welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. Again, today's topic is, are you being emotionally strong alone? I'm going to give you six ways to tell if you're being emotionally strong alone. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing is that the person is constantly calling or texting you, but there are never any plans to meet up. Like, ever, never, never. Never. <laughs> Which actually leads me into point number two. You guys could talk, text, email, whatever it is all week long monday through friday right all week long but on the weekend that sucker disappear you don't know what happened <laughs> all of the texting, all the texting all of the calling has disappeared now the weekend is here they out doing whatever they want to do guess who not included mm, mm, you you're not included number two which actually leads me to number three they little ugly self that say they busy every weekend for whatever reason every weekend you're not hearing from them because they busy they might got a paint they a dog walker all of a sudden they gotta walk the neighbor's dog they gotta babysit whoever they gotta go out of town to do this they anything not to see you they like you but you're there for emotional support you're not there to take it to the next level okay yeah number four when you finally do see to see this sucker <laughs> and this could be a man or a woman okay when you finally do see this sucker it's on their terms and it's probably like once a month all of a sudden they got some time to fit you in but it's like once a month you can't build nothing you see that little ugly face yeah you can't build nothing on once a month seeing each other that's y'all qt time once a month Nah, y'all ain't build nothing. Yeah, number five. They actually happy with where you guys are currently. Don't have no plans in their head to change it. Definitely no commitment to you. Again, trust me, believe me, you're being emotionally strong alone because you are their emotional support. Y'all might actually talk, text, call about any and everything. But, uh, yeah, that QT time, nowhere in sight. And, honestly, that uh, <laughs> when you finally do see him, and it's maybe mainly once a month, that's to kind of keep you on the hook. They throwing it out there. Whew, caught you. Only to get you emotionally, emotionally invested once again. But all of this is for their little stank itself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm irritated with this one. As you can see. The last thing, number six, is that they are so charming when they need to be. They landed on super thick. They can't wait to see you. They can't wait to hang out with you. They can't wait to whatever it is, the next venture with you. But all of it is to keep you just around for when they need you. You are their emotional support. They don't have no plans on taking it to the next level with you. They might, I'm sure they're probably still dating and texting and calling whoever it is they need to, whoever it is they're actually going to spend their time with. Because that person might not be giving them the emotional support that they need. You are that person in that particular lane for them. You are the emotional supporting person for them. They might not be getting that from whoever it is they're actually spending their time and energy on or even planning the dates with. You ain't getting none of that. And they're doing all of this to keep you on the hook, like I said, in the hopes of. But trust me, boo-boo, ain't nothing happening with you, with that person. So go ahead and just chuck up them deuces like I always do at the end of every, every video and move on with your life. If you're looking for more, you have the power to get more. Don't be only the emotional support. All right, as I tell you always, think about these things, incorporate them into, into your life, and just think about it. Are you being emotionally strong alone for whomever? Don't let them do that to you. Don't let them do that to you. All right, thank you guys for listening. 
share this on all of your social media with your friends and family if you're looking for someone that you can talk to that's going to help you with your relationship check out your girl email me through either youtube or my gmail account i am currently working on a uh <laughs> i'm very excited about this but i'm currently working on an online program so you guys can work on your relationships at your own time on at your own pace i will see you guys in the next video thank you for the support give me a thumbs up if you're interested and you like this video deuces